Hey guys, it's Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop and I am so excited to introduce our third quilt that goes along with the Sew Sampler program. So if you don't know about the Sew Sampler program, log on to Fat Quarter Shop and read all about it. All the information is there. So from April 2018 to March of 2019, in each box you will get a pattern. This is how the pattern looks. It's on really nice glossy cardboard, really nice and um, thick. It's got the cutting instructions for one block. And then in March of 2019 will be the finishing, which is to put it all together. So this is our first block. It's card called barn block, of course, because it looks like a barn block. So this is how wonderful it looks. It's so amazing. We kind of use the inspiration of Joanna Gaines, that whole popular farmhouse look. To go with it, we've also got a thread set that you can use that will do beautiful quilting for you. So we've got that, and we've got a quilt kit that has all the fabric you need for the quilt top and binding. So I'm gonna walk you through block one so that you can be so excited about this new program. So to start building our block, we're gonna start in the top left for our roof. You're gonna take a fabric B and fabric F square, put them right sides together. Now we're gonna be making a half square triangle, but we're making it different than you normally would. So. You're gonna draw a line from corner to corner using a friction pin. I use friction because it will disappear with heat later. This time you're gonna stitch directly on the line, trim a quarter inch away, it doesn't matter which side, and you're going to press. And this is going to make one half square triangle, which is different than the traditional way. And when I'm sewing today, I'm using color 2021 from our barn block thread set. So we're gonna continue building our roof. We're gonna to move to the middle roof unit. You're gonna take a fabric F square, draw a line from corner to corner with the friction pin, place it on the left part of a fabric A rectangle. Now here, when I'm sewing, I definitely would pin, stitch directly on the line, and press. It will look like this, and now when you're following this pattern, follow all the pressing arrows and everything will nest for you. We're gonna add another fabric F square, and just pay close attention to the direction. Stitch directly on the line and press, and this is your middle roof unit. So that's that unit. Then we've got a right unit to make. You're gonna take a fabric E rectangle and a fabric B square, We're gonna place the white this direction, stitch directly on the line and trim, and this is your right roof unit. And then we're just gonna build that roof by placing these three together, stitch those with a quarter inch seam and press, then you're gonna add your fabric D rectangle, and ta-da! you've got your roof unit. Super simple, just def definitely just sewing, stitching directly on your line, corner squares, and pressing according to the pattern. So now we're gonna jump into the left part of your barn. Super simple. Put together a fabric G and fabric C rectangle, press, then add your fabric H, and this is your left barn unit. Now, what I wanted to show everybody is, when you're making this each month, the roof and the left barn unit will be the same with different fabrics. And then right here is gonna be the part that changes. And this is gonna be the surprise every month. So I'm gonna show you on the next step what goes here for block one. So our barn block one has hourglass units in it. So you're gonna have a fabric eye that's gray and a fabric eye that's white. And then you're gonna have two fabric J's that are black. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these on the diagonal twice. I'm gonna show you how you do that. You wanna be really careful when you're cutting. Make sure your ruler is on each point. Cut once. So when you cut that apart, you've got four triangles. So from both of your eyes, you're gonna cut four triangles and from your fabric J, you're gonna cut eight triangles. So let's start building our hourglass. We're just gonna be moving our triangles around a little bit. And this is how you're going to piece it. But I wanna mention all of these 
are biased. So they're gonna stretch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put these right sides together and pin twice. And you wanna make sure that everything is aligned perfectly before you start. I might even put one more in. So I'm gonna pin that three times and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Since it's biased, you know, once you get in the machine, it's gonna start moving around. So that's why I'm pinning so much. You don't want anything to shift. So you're gonna sew those together and press according to your pattern. It's gonna look like this. Then you're gonna stitch those together. And when you're stitching that together, you're also gonna pin in the intersection on both sides and in the center so nothing shifts. When you sew that together, it's going to look like this. And you're gonna make two that have gray and two that have white. So let's move to putting the block together. So from here, we're just gonna do a little rotation on two of the units to get this really nice look. What you're gonna do is sew these two together with a quarter inch seam, these two with a quarter inch seam, and press. And then sew those together, and this is your unique part of block one. Then you're gonna add the left barn unit. It's gonna look like that. Then you're gonna add your roof, and you've got your beautiful barn block. So definitely sign up for our Sew Sampler box. You're gonna get months one through 12 from April 2018 to March 2019. And we've got an awesome finishing that's gonna come in the March 2019 box. So make sure you're a Sew Sampler member and pick up your barn block finishing kit and your barn block RFL thread set at the Fat Quarter Shop. And each month, share your block on social media for a chance to win a $25 gift certificate to the Fat Quarter Shop.